I'm Laurie Thomas with the University of Kentucky Forestry and Natural Resources Extension, and I'm here with the tree of the week, the black willow. Black willow, Salix nigra, is the largest and the only commercially important willow of about 90 species native to North America. It is more distinctly a tree throughout its range than any other native willow. It is also known as swamp willow, gooding willow, southwestern black willow, and dudley willow. It is short-lived, typically living 40 to 100 years, and it is fast-growing, with maximum size and development in the lower Mississippi River Valley and bottomlands of the Gulf Coastal Plain, where trees can reach 100 feet and up to 20 inches in diameter. However, trees typically grow 30 to 60 feet tall, with an average 14-inch diameter. Trees tend to have a broad, irregular crown and a dense root system. Black willow is used for a variety of wood products and has been widely used for stabilizing eroding lands due to its dense root system. Black willow's range is from New Brunswick to Manitoba and south to Florida and west to Texas, and it's found all across Kentucky. It is usually found on moist or wet soils along banks of streams, lakes, and swamps, and around farm ponds. Black willow is classified as very shade intolerant, and the trees are often found in pure stands. It is considered a pioneer or early successional species of sites. Black willow can be confused with the non-native invasive crack willow, Salix fragilis, where their ranges overlap. Crack willow is native to southwestern Asia and central Europe. In Kentucky, crack willow only has been documented in five or six counties. The leaves of crack willow are usually whitish beneath as compared to black willow that are not. Black willow is a deciduous tree with alternately arranged simple leaves. The leaves are lance-shaped, three to six inches long, and pinnately veined, meaning the veins run parallel from the midrib to the leaf edge. The margins are finely serrated, and they are dark green and somewhat shiny above and light green on the underside, and fall leaf color is a golden yellow. This species is dioecious, meaning male flowers and female flowers are on separate trees. The male and female flowers are tiny and look very similar. They are born in slender catkins that are about 1 to 3 inches long and green, yellowish green in color. They bloom in early spring with leaf out or just following leaf out. The flowers are pollinated by insects, particularly bees, and somewhat by wind. The fruit are cone-shaped capsules and hanging catkins. Each capsule contains many very small cottony seeds. At maturity, the capsules split, and that's usually around midsummer, to release the cottony seeds. It is estimated that there are two to three million seeds to the pound. The seeds are wind dispersed with silky cottony hairs acting like wings to carry the seeds long distances. Seeds are also water dispersed due to the tree's common location. Trees begin seed production at about 10 years of age with optimum seed production between 25 and 75 years. Trees typically had good seed crops every year with rare failures due to late freezes. Black willow will also commonly root and stump sprout. The bark is brown to gray to nearly black. It is divided into deep fissures that, sep that separate thick interlacing and sometimes scaly ridges. The wood is light and usually straight grained. The heartwood is reddish or grayish brown and sometimes with darker streaks. The sapwood is white to tan, but there's not always a clear demarcation from the heartwood. The wood is rated as non-durable to perishable. It is moderately high in shock resistance and was once used for artificial limbs. Black willow is moderately important to important tree for wildlife. The buds and catkins are eaten by a variety of birds, including ruffed grouse, white-throated sparrow, mallards, and northern pintail. Deer eat the twigs and leaves while beaver feed on the wood and use the branches in the construction of their dams. Rusty grackle, yellow warbler, and the warbling vireo will use the willows for their nest sites, and yellow-bellied sapsuckers feed on the sap from holes they peck through the bark. Willow flowers also provide nectar and pollen for a variety of bees, including honeybees and bumblebees. Willows are also an important larval host for a variety of butterflies, including eastern tiger swallowtail, the morning cloak, the red spotted purple, the viceroy, and the eastern comma. Supporting the larva also benefits many insect-eating birds. Black willow wood is and has been used for boxes and crates as a furniture core, turned pieces, charcoal, and pulp.
It's a favorite for soil stabilization due to its dense root system. The national champion black willow as of 2021 is in Washington, Minnesota. It is 315 inches in circumference, 91 feet tall, with a 75 foot crown spread. There is currently no champion listed for Kentucky. If you'd like to know more about champion trees, check out American Forest National Champion Trees and check out the Kentucky Division of Forestry Champion Trees. Now for a few fun facts about black willow. Ancient pharmaceutical texts listed the bark and the leaves of willow as a treatment for rheumatism and the pain associated with it. Glucoside salicin was isolated from willow in 1829 and it is today the basic ingredient of aspirin salicylic acid. However, today salicylic acid is synthesized rather than extracted. Black willow is appropriately named for the dark brown to blackish bark. The scientific genus name Salix is from the Latin or the Celtic sal and lis and means near water. The species name nigra means black, referring to the dark bark. I hope you get the opportunity to get out into your woodland local park or neighborhood and enjoy the beautiful trees of Kentucky, including the black willow.